Good morning. My name is J.P. Harlick. I'm a lieutenant with Houston Police Department. Beside me is Sergeant Contreras with the South Gessner Division. This morning, about 1.50 a.m. at the 9109 Fonder in the St. James apartment, a disturbance dropped. South Gessner unit patrol units were immediately sent to the location. As they were en route, the call got upgraded uh, to a cutting just occurred. The South Gessner officers arrived to find that the incident was a domestic assault where uh, the victim's ex-boyfriend, the father of the baby, came to the location. He was knocking on the door trying to get in. She was trying not to let him in. He ended up forcing entry into the location with a knife and attacking our victim. Our victim later on was transported to a local area hospital by the Houston Fire Department and is in critical condition. While the victim was being attacked, her sister intervened and was herself cut in the process. Um, superficial wounds was treated at the scene. Her husband, the brother-in-law of the victim, showed up at that point and intervened, ended up striking the suspect in the head with a baseball bat. Once units arrived, they were able to grab the suspect and he was detained. He was also transported to a local area hospital and is in stable condition. And Family violence at this time is en route to the scene to do a follow-up and we'll be charging later on this morning. You described the wounds on, on the one then? No, I was not here. I was heard she had several wounds, which included, you know, defensive wounds to her hands. Uh, I believe she was cut in the face several times, the back area, her neck, was what was described to me. And the child, can you describe the child? So the you know. child is a very small child, an infant still. Um, I didn't get to age of that, so it's a few weeks. A few weeks old. Okay, male or female? Uh, male or female? The baby? Yes. Male. Male, male baby. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who else? Was anybody else in the apartment when the stabbing happened? No. As far as I know, it was the victim, her sister. The brother-in-law later came. He was already on the way, too, and because uh, he also lives at the location, and he was coming from work and got here just in time to assist and probably saved his sister-in-law. Was the, the suspect knocked unconscious when he was struck by that? I don't have that information. All right, so the sister was here when the stabbing took place? Yes, both females were inside the location, the victim, and really they're both victims, but I'm concentrating on the uh, one that was mainly targeted. The sisters also was assaulted and cut during the process of intervening. Do you have an approximate age on the uh, the woman who was stabbed on the victim. No, no. All right.